But me, I already had the fire going and I was just trying to throw more things on it to like make me bring the fire up. Because I feel like it's burning right now, but I want it to burn more. And that's the feeling of I want to live more. And I thought like I could just read these books and get information here and listen to this person as I'm doing this track and I'm learning and I'm learning and I'm learning, I'm gathering more information. It's boosting my fire. This is what I thought for myself. Did you know that you are the greatest teacher that you will ever learn from? And specifically, your awareness is your greatest teacher. There's no one else on earth that you will learn more from than your actual own awareness. I say this to you knowing that it's the number one thing that has taught me. If you're watching this, you're probably someone who really loves to learn. You seek out information to help you. You're always looking for new ways to grow. There is no way better to grow than to learn from your own awareness. I can take you from when I was younger all the way up to now and what I learned. And I can tell you right now that all the secondhand knowledge that I've gotten has taught me nothing even close to what my own awareness has taught me. You go through life and You get used to learning from sources. You know, when you were very young, you started off learning from your parents. From those around you who seemed like they got it. Your teachers at school. and later on, anyone in a position of authority. That track actually taught you that the answers that you need lies outside of yourself. Because no one ever taught you that your own awareness is more valuable than what I have to say to you. No one ever taught you that. They always taught you that someone else has the answer. If you don't know, someone else has the answer. Go learn from someone. Get help from someone. Is that bad advice? No, it's not. But can it become imbalanced? For sure. And the way that it becomes imbalanced is you seek so much outside of yourself to get the answer that you don't know that you actually can come up with it. You trust someone else's advice, someone else's word, someone who you think has it more than yourself. And there are definitely people, teachers, those who've done it before us, definitely. And they have a lot of value to give us in relation to what they've learned about what we are learning. 
but that imbalance of constantly seeking never gives you the trust that you want in yourself. You know, I started to look at what am I learning all this from? Because many guys are like, you know, you say things that I've never heard before. What you say is sounds so ahead of your years. And I know what they're saying, or what they're trying to bring across is appreciation, but they don't know that it's just my awareness that's allowing me to do this. My own awareness. Not, I don't have like containment of awareness, but I've allowed myself to become aligned with that which is, which is awareness. They try to make it seem like it's something that's far away from them. When it's actually who they are as well. And in the same way, they would be like, I appreciate what you were, you were saying. I would say the same thing about them if they knew that their greatest teacher is awareness, their own awareness. I really became interested in, like, why is it that I'm able to see the way I do? Why is it that I'm able to notice, have intuition about things? Why is it that I no longer want to read books? It was all because I started to see that I'm not learning anymore through these sources. I'm not learning anymore. I can see all these things because I'm not learning anymore. And what do I mean by I'm not learning anymore? I'm not seeking knowledge so that I can know an answer to something. This is why I was, I'm able to see because there's nothing blocking my vision. The only thing now that could block my vision is something that's happening internally, a pattern of minds. It's the only thing that can really block my vision now. Otherwise, when I was actually learning, before where I am now, when I was actually learning, It was all blocking my vision. I couldn't really see the parts of myself that I wanted to see. I was so interested in learning from those who had it. I was so interested in, you know what? This person seems like they have what I want, so I'll learn from them. And that was great, it was, because it taught me that when you do want to do something, want to become something, you can learn from someone because it's probably that someone else did it. You probably weren't the first. So that can help you along the track of what it is that you want to do, what you want to become. That's great for that reason. It is because Sometimes you're in a position where you can't, where you don't believe. You're in that position. And the only way you can really believe is to see experience of it. It's to see someone else who's done it before you. And that can get the fire going. But me, I already had the fire going and I was just trying to throw more things on it to like make me bring the fire up. Because I feel like it's burning right now, but I want it to burn more. And that's the feeling of I want to live more.
And I thought like I could just read these books and get information here and listen to this person as I'm doing this track and I'm learning and I'm learning and I'm learning, I'm gathering more information. It's boosting my fire. This is what I thought for myself. I thought every new thing was fuel. It would ignite it and spark it up. But in the long run, I started to see that no, it didn't. It just made the fire less. And a part of you may go, I think that because guys like to comment on the videos and bring in their opinions, I think that you should learn from those who have it and they, and they can show you the way. That's what I think. And I thought the same thing. I'm like, I'm learning all these things because these people are showing me the way. Their fire are burning. I perceive that their fire was burning really high. And then I went, they're showing me the way. If I just do what they do, I'm going to also be burning in my fire. My fire is also going to be bright. I'm also going to be somebody that's expressive. I'm also going to be someone who has a voice, someone who is an energetic light. but to bring this even to you and to spread your awareness. Anybody who you feel is going to lift, quote unquote, the fire inside of yourself, allow you to live more fully. Anyone who you think is giving you information to do that. Not spreading your awareness, but information, meaning filling the space that is inside of awareness. Anyone who's doing that, I can tell you right now, they're not allowing your fighter to burn brighter. This is the misconception. The misconception is, is when I'm learning from this person, my fire is going to burn. I'm going to be more of myself. Because all the learning that we do is to become more of that which we are. And someone who we perceive to be that which they are, we go, they have the answers. If I just continuously gather more information from them and get more and more and more to the point where you actually become addicted more and more, then I'll be able to at some point be like them. And I thought the same thing. I did. I thought that if I just listen to Eric Thomas, if I just listen to James, if I just listen to Tyler, if I just listen to Osho, if I, no, no, Osho actually, sorry, very different. Uh, he actually spread my awareness, he did. But also, I became addicted to listening to Osho though. If I just listen to these people, then my awareness, I mean, my fire will burn brighter. And all it did was put things inside of the space of awareness, but it didn't spread my awareness out. Don't get me wrong, the very act of being around these men and learning from them in the ways that I have, it definitely has spread my awareness some. It did, they had value to me in my life, they definitely did. But to actually burn brighter, to actually be more of that which I am, Apart from Osho, no one else taught me that. No one else. Because to really be that which you are takes courage. I didn't meet, I never met courage to really be that which they were. I've never met that in person. Never. I'm the first version of that that I've met. Truly. Now, of course, I've never met people who are living now like Eckhart Tolle or Muji or some of these enlightened beings. Of course I never met them and I would say probably yes. They would spread my oneness even more than now. For sure, I really believe they would. Oh, I not even believe, I know they would. I haven't met them. I'm not interested in meeting them, I'm not. I know the person who I don't listen to who did spare my, spare my awareness was Osho. 
He was. He would have been the only one I would have been willing to learn under, learn things from. But still, I would have broke away at some point because I know that it's very easy to become addicted to someone's teachings. It's very easy to become addicted to the fact that they are living this way and I just want to learn from them so bad. I want to learn what they're doing. So I tell you that it's nothing wrong with learning from someone, nothing. But if you think their information alone is going to spread your awareness more than you, then you are kidding yourself. They can show you the way and let you know that by inspiration, by them being who they are through inspiration, that this is where you can get to. That's the greatest thing they can ever do for you, is be an inspiration to you spreading your awareness. Because they were c courageous enough, I'm talking about someone who's uh, very much themselves or enlightened, they were courageous enough to, to allow their awareness to be more realized and spread further. That's how they're the inspiration only. Really. This is why I, right now, I don't listen to anyone. And I don't feel any arrogance to that, because I used to in a way. I used to feel the arrogance to it, like, yeah, I don't listen to anybody. I'm that person who just does his own thing. But not anymore, because I just understand that I just don't want to listen to anybody. I don't. I'll, I want them to live their life, and I want them to go about their way. If I hear something they say, because I've heard things, I'm like, that's beautiful, that's very true, he's right. I, I say things like this, I do. Because I do appreciate when people are able to be that which they are. They have moments of this. I do appreciate that with all my heart. But I'm not interested in learning. Because I know that they're only, they only can feel information inside of me, but they can't spread my awareness more than I could. The more that I'm allowing myself, the more that I'm able to be true moment to moment, the more that I'm able to see. And through that seeing, through that depth of vision, through that spreading of vision that I'm able to see further, deeper into things, that's the most valuable thing that I could have. My greatest teacher in any situation will be my own awareness. And not simply because it's going to allow me to see more. It's simply because people cannot see what's happening inside of me. I'm the only one that can see what's happening inside of me. There's no one who can show me what's happening inside of me but me. My awareness of seeing that is going to give me the chance to move through it. Give me the chance to uproot it. And through the uprooting, I learn and I'm able to be more aware. And through that more aware, I'm able to see more that shows up. And through seeing more that shows up, I'm able to be more aware and the process continues on. So how can you allow yourself to be your own greatest teacher? How can you allow yourself? Maybe you're someone who goes, I am someone who's constantly seeking information. I want to learn how to be my own teacher for real. And I'm not talking about looking through a book and then teaching yourself. What I'm talking about is really becoming your own teacher. Like allowing yourself to see what's happening inside of you and moving through it by yourself. <laughs> Basically, When you notice something happening inside of you, anything, let's say in a situation you notice that you're someone who always looks for the negative. Let's say this is a track of yours. 
you are walking through life and you notice something and immediately your mind goes to the negative aspect of it. Even if it goes right, your mind flips it to the negative aspect. Your number one way in this moment, to, in that moment, to become your teacher is to see the positive and the negative happening. Just see it. And even before you just see it, and what I mean by see it is just put your attention on it, your focus on it. And even before you may see this, notice this, be able to put your attention on it, you may actually have to, in your meditations, look at why you become negative to a positive situation. Because in looking at the why to, why do you do this, you're gonna be able to, in the moment, pinpoint it. Because now it's something that you know, that you struggle with, and you can move it towards a resolution by putting that as something you're going to be aware of. You're gonna put your attention on. And as you find it in your meditation and things happen, and you go out into the street, and it happens the same way where you're just like, boom, that's the same thing that I found in meditation. Make the same thing happen. And that is, in your meditation, also in any situation you're in in life, when you see the positive and negative happening, just see it. Of course, the ability to stand, to, to come back and see it in its totality, that's what, that will take time. I'm not going to tell you that that's gonna, you're going to get over it the first time you do this. No. Because you're only going to be able to see it, let's say, this much. And then the more and more you see it, you're going to be able to see it more and more. And then you're going to be able to move back to the point where this doesn't mean anything anymore. And the moment that you can really see it like this, it's going to really uproot. That is what you would take in any situation when you're out in the street. You feel yourself going into that positive negative flip, where you're like, if this is a positive situation, you immediately flip it to a negative in some way, or you see the downside. It's in that moment where in the same way, in meditation, where you just go, all right, I see it. Do the same thing when you're out in any situation. Just see it. Don't do anything about it like, okay, I need to right now switch it back to positive. No. Because then, you're gonna, then your track is going to become, the pattern is going to become, when it's positive, I turn it negative, and then I turn it back positive. That's then going to become your new pattern. Just see it for what it is. That's it. You don't need to do anything about it. I can leave you with that simple thing to do in any situation. Because to really grow is to see more. And that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about you becoming your greatest teacher so that you can be able to be more. But the only way you can become your greatest teacher is to be able to know that you are awareness. You are that which is. You are that which is looking. You actually are that which notices the looker. And through that looking, through that noticing, you're going to see more. And through the seeing more, truly, you're going to be able to live more. Because you're gonna to start to see that this is not me, this is not me, this is not me. I thought this was me, this is not me. That is the track that you'll then start going through. That's when you'll burn brighter. 
Because what you're thinking is you're gonna burn brighter through the information. No, you're gonna burn brighter through seeing more. That's how you're gonna burn brighter. And of course, there's an aspect to this that goes into the realm of expression, of course, and how expressing yourself in a totality way, but that's for another video. Why do you think those who are the most aware are the ones who live life the most fully? There's a reason why. Why do you think when you're around them, their presence is very, very strong? They have a, they have a presence and an energy about them that to the outside world could be not understandable, but to someone like me who is very aware, beautiful. And even to the outside world, beautiful. To some. Because they are burning bright in that moment. This is why when you see someone dancing, and they're just in the flow of dancing, they look beautiful in that moment because it's the energy coming off of them. Allow yourself to really spread your own awareness. Spread it. Learn from those who help spread your awareness, not give you more information. Because those who give you more information makes your fire a little bit more dim. Because there's more blocking you, you can't see. Those who spread your awareness remove the blocks. They remove things for you and they allow you to see more. I thank you for tuning in to this video and all the things that I covered today. Uh, I said so many times, burning, seeing, spreading, and your awareness. So many times I said these words. Burning because you are the intensity of your own flame. You actually are. You are an intensity of a flame. And you have the choice to burn as bright. Spreading because you are not just this caged in person. You're not. You are far beyond that. I talked about seeing because it's through the seeing that you're going to spread out. That fire is going to spread out. And that all that is that I'm talking about awareness that which is thank you for tuning in and right now I'm in this uh, wonderful park in Budapest speaking to you about something that I feel has made a difference in my life totally. Subscribe because this is the way you're gonna be able to follow me. Share this with anybody who you feel needs to hear this, or you feel is into meditation and would love to hear this about being their own greatest teacher. It's more important to be that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try, just be. I'll talk to you in a few days.